You guys look for Jaden. I'll pick up Cromwell. How about that? Deal. All right. Um, oh, and by the I'll... way, go ahead. I would like to immediately call. Uh, what, what what's your character's name again? Sorry. Who? Who are you talking about? Your friend. Your own yeah, character? I'll, I'll try to immediately contact Cromwell about oh, Cromwell. the update. Okay, yeah. Well, let, let's just assume you did that then. Uh, but yeah. the most important thing is Baron's going to pick up a book that says Kitsune's and shove it into one of your arm and be like, you better research this. And then he's going to go off and um, drive away. <laughs> can I read it? Uh, why he's yeah. calling it? What do you, you want to know? <laughs> what are the things you want to know? Okay, what is a Kitsune? It is well, you know, the Japanese fox yeah. spirit. Yep. Um, speaking of so which, I am not sure how Kitsune of all things managed to go from Japan all the way to Florida, and especially somebody must have. Somebody must have been in Japan, then got transferred here. And if it's a nine-tailed one, things might be complicated. Um, what are they, uh, what is their weaknesses and what can they do? So they have super strength, super speed, not like, you know, the flash, but they're definitely very quick and agile. They have claws like, uh, like werewolves, but there's, instead of just being like nails, they're more like talons, like really long claws. Uh, they can only be killed if they are stabbed in the heart or by starving. Um, so, you know, shooting them won't do any good. You have to literally stab them in the heart. Uh, they can shapeshift between their human form and a fox form. Uh, and, and kind of like a hybrid of human and fox, kind of like werewolf. Um, they, they must... Oh, and of course the cult can kill them. Uh, but uh, they must eat... A, a part of a human brain to survive um, and if they don't eat that then they will die uh, but basically if you if you stab them in the knife or stab them in the heart with a knife or a dagger that can kill them so as long as you guys got that you can kill them got it all right he goes uh, uh, stab him in the heart we have to all right so you guys head off in your motorcycles looking for your friend yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that at this point, uh, the uh, uh, at Cromwell, you see the the headlights of a uh, Thunderbird coming towards you, and it pulls over, and you see some random guy that you've never seen before uh, just shout to you, uh, Cromwell, is that you? Uh, yeah. And who might you be? Name's Baron. I'm uh, the older brother of uh, Alex and David. Sorry, they couldn't make it. They've got motorcycles, so you know I, I have this extra seat here. So uh, they're off looking for their friend, and I figured I'd come and get you. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, and that's when we start hearing the the uh, the, the, the the rumbling of another truck engine, and we're like, yeah, let's let's get out of here. So I I spin the I spin the Thunderbird around and fly off towards uh, the direction of the. Uh, the, the motorcycles um, David and Alex you are driving looking around for um, your friend um, and funnily enough you actually find him not too far away maybe a block and a half away from his shop uh, kind of not I would I won't say he's prone but he is definitely like almost prone like he's crawling but he's like trying to stay at least on his knees like he's not he's trying to keep himself from going all the way down you see a a long uh or a, a big gash in his neck where it looks like either he's been clawed or bitten and he's just struggling to make it um it through through the grass of somebody else's lawn so what do y'all do i pull over and run over I'd like to Help immediately pull over and quickly try to uh, stabilize him. It's before he's helped up. Like, immediately try to stabilize and okay. deal with the gash, yeah. the giant ass throat wound. Alright. 
that's definitely going to be a medicine uh, or understand roll, and it'll be, I'll say, uh, control. So that will be power. Uh, understand and power. And if you have a focus, that, that would be good too. I do have a focus. I. The same fucking number? Wow. <laughs> Zero. You actually, you don't make it worse, that's good, but, like, you put the bandage on his neck and it's just, it's too deep. And, he, and, Shit. and he's like, I, it was, I, I thought it was, I, 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 I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called you. And then he passes out. From blood loss. Okay, we need to get, we need to get him to a hospital, man. We need some immediate medical attention as soon as possible. Shit. Okay. Um, he googles where the closest, um, uh, hospital in the base is. In the meantime, I actually immediately, like, like, doesn't, like, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try to immediately contact the, any medical professionals that are within this base ASAP, cause, uh, yeah. Okay. Um... So you, you get emergency services and, and they're like, okay, we're going to send an ambulance uh, to your location. It'll be there in like five minutes. Uh, and the, the, the hospital's probably five minutes away at a, at a drive. Um, however, oh my gosh. you hear the Thunderbird coming up behind you and behind them a, a large V8 truck that is chasing us down. And uh, I'm just going to scream, get, a, get, get on the motorcycle. We have to get out of here. There's nothing we can do for him. Basically, um... Actually, I am... I'm actually going to fucking ranger roll my friend and... Have him on my fucking back and... Find a way to... Do the motorcycle thing. Okay. And you'll also notice behind the truck is like... Three police cars chasing the truck, so... Um... But yeah, so okay, so you, you throw him on your back and you get on the motorcycle and you're gonna try to ride with it. Okay, that's definitely gonna be a, a roll there. Um, let's see. It's definitely gonna be con, so move. And I'm gonna say daring because that's pretty daring. <laughs> Ballsy, am I right? Yep. Ooh, you got a critical success. So yeah, you, you've got him on your shoulder. Um, you definitely know that you can't go too far like this, so you gotta hope that you come across that ambulance pretty damn soon. Um, I turn, I'm, Baron's gonna turn to Cromwell, and, uh, he's gonna say, if you got any guns, please use them on that truck. <laughs> Will do, I got some shotties right here, as I pump them both, <laughs> or, you know, load them both, and I'm gonna pop my head out the window and try to shoot the tires out. All right. I'm going to hide in one of the driveways. Uh, you're just going to pull over and let your your brothers just keep driving? <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Alex? We'll see. I'm going to hide in one of the driveways. All right. You pull into we'll a driveway. Um, the truck passes you. Everybody passes you. Uh, let me guess. You're going to try to follow the truck and the police cars? Or are you just going to stay there and hide? Yeah. Basically, he goes, dope. David should have just let me take his friend. Well, he's trying to get to the ambulance, because the ambulance is en route. I'm yeah, assuming. I'm trying to imperial enter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm... Intercede into the pathway of the ambulance yeah. to quickly get it quicker. Yeah, so basically, two minutes from now, you'll you'll meet up with the ambulance. Uh, you, you've got to stop the ambulance, because the ambulance is probably going to think that uh, it's got to keep going, so you'll have to block its way. Um, but, uh, uh, Cromwell, Adam Cromwell, can you roll a control and security and try to shoot them tires? The difficulty is going to be three, because it's dark and you're moving vehicle, <laughs> and it's kind of far. Right. All right. All right. I got a six and a one. All right. So one of the tires blows out on the truck, and you see it just swerve a bit, and then go off the road and and like turn over and crash into a residential area, like, destroy someone's rose garden. Um, at least it killed a, a ugly evil gnome. Um, and then the, the uh, I'm gonna say two of the police cars stop, but one of them continues to chase the Thunderbird. Um, 
and we keep we keep we keep driving, we keep going. I'm like, Baron's like Baron gets on the radio to uh, David's like, where where where'd Alex go? Alex, where are you? I managed to pull into one of the driveways. Well, that's not going to help us very much if these if these. If, just can can you can you help us? Can you get the cop off us or something? Or could you at least try to inter intercede in the pathway of the ambulance and actually try and get it to stop? Well, um, you're closer to the ambulance than the mother's than Alex. Fine. If I have to, if I have to do it all on my own again. I have an idea. Oh, uh, I have an idea. Uh, David, slow down. I mean, keep driving, but just slow down. Let us pass you. So the Thunderbird's going to pass you, and then it's basically, as the ambulance is coming towards you, it's going to do like a spin move and block the intersection, or block the road so that the ambulance has to stop. Got it. All right. And lay the guy down. Lay, lay, lay Jane down on the ground. Because we don't want them to think that you're carrying a dead body or, and start shooting you when the cops show up. Yeah. All right. So you lay him down. I block the ambulance. The ambulance comes to a stop. Uh, the police come to stop behind us. However, um, I need David. I need you to roll an insight and security check. So that's battle and I need faith. Difficulty is going to be three. Ooh. I, what is going on with my dice today? I probably think it. Ha I feel like my. I feel like the universe is actually telling me I, that I need to take a nap. You probably like. Did. But let me ask, before, before you do though, let me ask you this: How do you feel about becoming a kitsune? <laughs> Uh, Let me look it up in supernatural terms. Yeah, I'll, I'll just post the link. Uh, it's they're not they're not like the ones in, in in normal mythology. They're just humans with bangs, basically, and claws. Okay. But yeah, I'll post it. I'll post it in the same. Uh, so yeah, they look human most of the time, except they can grow claws. Their eyes can turn weird, and they can have fangs. But otherwise, they pretty much look like people um but either way uh your friend Jaden dickinson opens his eyes and they have those fox-like eyes you know slits and he fangs grow and he grabs you by the arm as you lay him down what do you do uh. Sorry, my brain just completely stopped working. Well, you have a Kitsune who's got his claws in your arm, so there's not much <sighs> else you can do but fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I would try to get myself to struggle wait, struggle out of his grip. Alright, roll a... But I have a feeling that his grip is pretty good. Pretty strong, yeah. Uh, roll daring and security against the Kitsune. Got it. Who used to be Jaden Dickinson. Oh! <laughs> What'd you get? A crit. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Gotta focus, yes. He's got four. Oh. Wow. So you got four, he's only got two with a crit. So yeah, even though his claws go in you, it's not enough to turn you or to cause any major ja damage. Um, you're able to wrench yourself away. Um, Baron and uh, Baron kind of climbs out of the Thunderbird um, just as the police show up, um, and he's kind of. Baron is obviously kind of like worried because I mean we're a bunch of civilians with fake IDs that would have guns. And I've been shooting. And so even if the, the guys in the truck were, you know, bad guys, werewolves, whatever, um, we're still going to be put in jail. So uh, he is going to, as, as he sees um, David wrench his arm from the now Kitsune, um, and, the, you know, the, the EMTs are running from the ambulance towards them, he is just going to drop everything except for, let's see, what has he got? Cause he's, he's he's only keeping his small stuff. He's gonna he's gonna he's only gonna keep his Colt 45 handgun. 
um, his his revolver and a Bowie knife. Everything else, all the swords and stuff, he's and 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 big weapons he's leaving in the car, uh, in the trunk. He's not gonna go for it. And he's just gonna he's even gonna leave Cromwell there. If Cromwell doesn't follow, then that's on him. But he's gonna run towards David. Um, and he's gonna basically just grab David and, and haul butt like through a residential, you know, neighborhood uh, to get away from these guys. What is Adam Cromwell doing? Is he following? I am totally following. Um, <clears throat> my gear only consists of a couple of weapons, so I think I yeah. should be okay. Yeah. All right. So you follow. You're probably like ten feet behind. But yeah, David. Is David gonna resist or is David going with him? Yeah, I'm going to have to go. Yeah, he, he's just grabbing. He, he looks at your arm like, are you okay? You're not going to turn on me, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. All right, let's go. Mr. Stormont is what most likely must have gotten me. He's got a Baron pulls out his phone and calls uh, Alex. He's like, Alex, you're on a motorcycle. That's useless. Find a car. Pick us up. Yep. And he's just going to run. Through the through the woods, they got you got we got like two cops chasing us. Probably one of the EMTs is trying, but then stops and goes back to the person who's injured on the or who who was injured and is now getting up off the ground and attacking them. So I'll say one of the cops turns and heads back to go help the EMTs, but the other cop is chasing us with his weapon out. Um, and you know what? Just because it's going to be cinematically awesome or horrible, either way is fine. I'm gonna say there's like a a four and a half foot fence, like one of those picket fences that we have to jump over. So let's see, <laughs> let's see how that works. Uh, I'm gonna say that is gonna be fitness, so either daring or control, so justice or power, either one, and con. And uh, we've got. A, I'm gonna say difficulty is two to jump over that. Oh, I don't That's make me. it. What was that? Was that me too? Yep, everybody who's running. We gotta jump over this. Oh, got it. I, I got it, 11 and 12. Nice. And what about you, Nostra? Alright, let me just roll real quick. And Mac, you too, Mac. Ooh, you don't make it. Ooh, I'm, not, I'm not jumping over a fence. I'm not with you, so oh, yeah, remember? Alright, so, yeah, uh, what's your ETA? Where are you, Alex? Um, I would say he, uh, managed to buy a vehicle. You bought, and you bought a vehicle? Would you just go up to yeah. some random, uh, soccer mom's like, give me your minivan now, and you shove, like, $10,000 into her hand? Uh, um, he probably, um, went and... Saw a vehicle for sale, and he would have uh, like, "Hey, can I have this car now? Take it off your hands with a big chunk of change." Sure. <laughs> you know what? Roll a presence and command for that kind of diplomacy and persuasion. <laughs> I'll just say difficulty one, because I mean it is a lot of money, and pretty much car. Even if it's a, I mean if it's if it's like a, a chain car dealership they, they wouldn't do that but if it's like you know freaking just some guy i got one okay yeah it's just some guy with like five cars in front of his house that he's trying to sell and you just grab one of them um we'll figure out later what actually you don't know let's figure that out now random car generate uh generator i want to see what car this is Alright, let's see. We've got a, I don't even know what that is. Ugh, it's a Kia. Oh well. It, it's a Kia, a black Kia sedan. That's fine. At least it's a sedan we can all fit in. So yeah, you're, you're, so, so you, you just got the car and, and, and I'm gonna say, um, I try to jump over the fence and drop the phone and I scramble over the fence, but the phone's on the other side. So so I'm just like, I'm not going to go back for the phone. I just leave the phone and run. Uh, that's why uh, how I fail. Um, we'll figure out how Alex, or not Alex, David fails once he, uh, once he gets back. But we're in the meantime, we're running still. Um, and a few minutes later, we're going to come to 
a road, and uh, we'll say that that's when Mac peels around the corner uh, in, in a black Kia sedan. Um, all right, uh, so yeah, you, you got to stop, and we jump into the sedan, um, and then you floor it and get, the hell, get us the hell away from here. Um, you forget that, like, three of us have military, um, IDs? Yeah, but not everybody, so. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, say back. welcome, welcome back. back. We what did, am I missing? Nothing. The, uh, Mac showed up with the car and we just jumped in, so now Got it. we're all in the car. Um. And I look over to you, uh, as we're driving, I look over to Dave and like, are you doing alright over there? And Alex, you'll notice the big gash in, in David's arm from where he got clawed. As I said. Yeah. Not as painful being, as being shot through a jaw, but... Hmm. Well, let's, let's get, get the hell out of here. Just head for the gate. No, no, will somebody tell me what the hell is going on? What are we against? Are we against Kitsune. hellhounds? Are we against uh, what now? Kitsune. Kitsune. Oh boy. But All right. The problem is. This is my own friend. Has just turned into one. Yeah. And, and After one. Almost became one. And, and you still oh, well, consider yourself lucky. We'll have to deal with that when we get to a place where we can stop and, and heal it. But my my biggest concern right now is the three truck or however many trucks it was, plus Jaden. It feels like it's a trap. I feel like this was a trap. I, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing Jaden was probably a Katune before, when, at least when we talked to him on the phone the second time, because. I mean, we didn't find that much blood in his shop. So clearly, he didn't get that wound on his neck in his shop. So, all I'm saying is, something else is going on. And it's weird, because Katsune's generally, you know, they they don't drive trucks around chasing hunters. So, let's just get off this base and, and try to regroup. Sounds like a swell idea. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, he go uh, Alex goes, why don't we go to your mom's property? Oh, well, your property now. That's still a couple hours, a few hours away, but yeah, uh, let's, just <laughs> let's just get off the base. Let's just get off the base first, and then we can decide where to go from there. Um, Sorry, I'm back again! <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're, the, the, uh, the vehicle heads towards the gate, um... I'm going... I have all this threat. Let me see. I don't think I've... I've used a couple of them without saying anything, but I still have a few left. I'm going to spend some threat and say that... Um, something... Well, actually, Alex is driving. So, Alex, roll Insight Con. So, move, and then I guess that, I think that's Faith. Difficulty three. Do we have any momentum? Uh, I mean, I haven't been keeping track of it, so I don't know. I, I rolled a couple ones, so hopefully yeah. the counts. Let's just say you have one, because otherwise you're going to be spending. You're going to okay. give me threat. And... Yeah, I'm going to use one. Uh, one of those. All right. Uh, that one. Ooh. So, the sedan that we are in um, gets uh, T-boned by another vehicle. I need everybody to roll to not be completely discombobulated. Uh, we'll say um, discipline and or Command and control, or yeah, control. So power. 
And uh, difficulty is two. I failed. <laughs> oh, I critical oh, failed. Okay. Ooh. I am unconscious, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I failed. Alright, so you're not unconscious, but you're dazed and you have probably a, an injury or a wound. A 16 yeah. and a 6. Uh, David has to roll a di uh, discipline yeah, and power. Ooh, oh, damn. Three successes. So you're the only one, it looks like. Everyone else is dazed, but Baron is unconscious. So uh, I'm going to let Nostra, I'm going to let you make the first decision. Uh, what do you want to do? You see a vehicle has just T-boned our vehicle, and somebody is about to step out of it. I'm going to quickly try to immediately get as many bodies as I can into cover and hopefully drag them out to and get to get into some cover asap okay well you can do you can get one person out before this guy gets out of his vehicle nearest one well, actually no no i'm gonna drag um baron out okay. I'm, I'm gonna drag <laughs> baron i'm gonna drag baron into cover because right. uh That's he's fair. the one who's unconscious and yeah. uh better for him to be hidden somewhere all right so you probably don't recognize this individual but uh somebody gets out of a, a truck oh come on freaking we'll do this to me <laughs> roll 20. oh my god it's close to the same person <laughs> is it is it posting but i just can't see it yeah, I, yeah. yeah, three times. Okay, well, it's only one of them. <laughs> um, one, I just can't see it. Two. I just one, can't see it. two. Alright, so. Three. This guy gets out, and he just has like a, a, a revolver in his hand, and he points it at the nearest person in the vehicle. Um, someone roll, flip a coin, or roll 1d2, one being Tali. Two being Alex. I'll I'll roll. Alright. Alright, so Alex, he's going to point the gun at you and fire. Security and Yep, he's For some reason, now my roll 20 is not... Oh, there it is. <laughs> he definitely misses, but he definitely tried to kill you with a gun. Um, and he has the Kitsune eyes and the Kitsune fangs, so he's still a Kitsune, but he has tried to kill you with a gun. Um, and he, you do realize he also had a uh, fumble, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm taking that into account, but you, just don't, you guys just don't notice it for right now. But he does fire and miss. Um, and then he's gonna turn his attention on to David and Baron, who is, well, actually, you guys, you, you pulled me out and are, is now behind something, so he'll probably turn his attention on to Tolly's character, Adam Cromwell. Um, uh, Alex, since you are recovering and David has already acted, what do you want to do? He wants to try and crawl out of, um... The wreckage. Alright. Roll a uh, control or fitness, which are basically the same thing, and the uh, con. Difficulty is to, to get out of the wreckage, because the car is pretty much a pancake. Oh. Yeah. So. He sees you trying to crawl out and, and like struggling, so instead of shooting at Cromwell, he he uh, turns the gun on you and pulls the trigger, uh, but nothing happens. And so he opens the the uh, cylinder. Ugh, I forgot to put bu more bullets in, and he puts more bullets in. So that's gonna be his action. Um, Cromwell, your kind of your days is kind of 
uh, you're kind of recovering from that collision. What do you want to do? You're still in the vehicle. Uh, <clears throat> I want to try to get out. Is he on my side of the vehicle, or is he on the opposite side? Either way is fine. Uh, because I didn't make tokens and stuff, I'm not being super... It's going to be super just abstract. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. All right, for, for all intensive purposes, I'll be on the other side. I'm going to try to get out, but in doing so, uh, I would like to try to raise uh, my my uh, shotgun up and try to attack him. Okay. Roll uh, control and security difficulty two. Got a four and a six. So he blasts through him. But, uh, you know, being a Kitsune, that doesn't kill him. He's got, like, a hole in his chest, but he just looks down like, okay. Um, but now he has bullets in his gun. And as you're, like, struggling, you're, you're kind of crawling back along the road. Um, and, you know, more police are coming. More ambulances are coming in the distance. But it's probably going to be, like, a few minutes uh, before they get there. Uh, but he basically, uh, now with his reloaded gun, points re-points re it at you. Um, and is going to pull the trigger. Let's see what happens this time. Would be interesting if this is where you died. <laughs> Since you may not right? come back. Let's see. Darn. I mean, really, I don't want my character to die, I but know. you know, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh, it is what ooh it three is. successes. Mm, okay. oh! So, ooh! you have... And a crit! Hold on. Yeah, one of them's a crit, but hold on. Let me check uh, advancement points. You have six advancement points. I don't know if that's what you started with. Is that what you started with, or did you lose some plot points because of injuries from the last game? Uh, No, that's what I started out with. Okay. Uh, and I didn't get injured last game. Okay, so you're going to lose three of those, putting you down to three. Uh, so if you get shot one more time, you're insta-dead. Um... But, yeah, he basically shoots you. It goes into your gut. Like, if you don't get medical attention, you're going to die, essentially. Um, yeah. And he is going to, you know, you guys could tell he's going to fire again at, at, at Cromwell. So, David, it's your turn. What do you do? Well, since he's focused on Cromwell, I think I have my chance to actually flank him mm -hmm. and yank the gun from him by force. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to say this is a stealth move, uh, so I'll let you decide con or security and uh, Definitely daring. security. Okay, daring and security, and uh, it's since you're yanking the gun, it is going to be contested, so he is going to roll Got two. It. How much momentum do we have? Uh, none, I'm, because oh, wait, no mind. one's been keeping track. <laughs> All right. Oopsies. It's, I mean, it's nobody's fault. This game, I don't keep track because it's way more abstract than Star Trek, and it's not, like, you yeah. know, the worst-case scenario. In this case, it is the worst-case scenario. Basically, as soon as you try, he, he doesn't see you, like, approach him until it's too late, but he definitely doesn't let you get the gun. So, basically, like, as you're reaching for it, he moves the gun away, so he's not pointing it at Cromwell anymore, but he's definitely, like, shoves you back with his super strength. So, now, you, like go flying across the road you're not gonna get injured too badly you just you know fall down or whatever but you definitely need to uh you know try a different strategy or try it again whatever you want to do um but now it's his turn and he is going to point the gun at you because you've shown yourself and he you know now wants to kill you and before before he pulls the trigger he's gonna say you hunters took everything from me and now i'm going to take everything from you and he is going to fire and you know what? I'll spend some threat. See what happens. Ooh, four successes. Uh, so remove three plot points from David Kennedy. That will put you because you're at. You're supposed to start the game at eight, so it puts you down to five or six. Yeah, no, I think you start with eight because you're a main character. Yeah, I start with eight. Uh, so yeah, you yeah. you go down, I'm down to, to five. five now. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you basically, if you get shot, depending on where he shoots you and how close and everything like that, uh, you could die in a, a, a next shot, or if you don't get medical attention, you could potentially, you know, at the moment you're not, you're bleeding out, but it, you're not, you're not shot in the stomach like Cromwell was. You're basically shot like in the thigh 
or a shoulder, somewhere where you're losing a lot of blood, but it could definitely be worse. Alright, so... Yes? Right, so, let's see, I, I gotta remember who's next. He just went, so now I think it's Alex, right? Yep. Alright, Alex, what are you doing? Um, Alex, uh, basically is trying to get out of the vehicle. And he'll try and get out of the vehicle. I thought you already got out. Oh, no, you failed to get out. Okay. No. Yeah, control and yeah. security. It's fortunate or I got his attention time. away from you. Yeah, he's, he's not aiming at you or nothing. Control and con or control and security, either one's fine. All right, yeah, you get out. Yeah. And then, and then that's your action. You're out, uh, standing. And we'll say, for the sake of, you're, you're flanking him, basically. Like, you're beside him. He would have to turn to shoot you. But he definitely knows that, you know, because the car door opened. So he definitely knows that you're out now. Um, so now it's his turn. He tried, uh, he shot David. Now he's going to turn and shoot Alex. Because he knows Alex just came out. Um, so let me roll for that. And he'll say, thanks to the infamous, I can now have my full revenge. Ooh, he he epically fails. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, then that is going to go to Cromwell. What does Cromwell do? You've been shot in the gut, so you can't do a whole lot, but you still have your shotguns. Um, I, I want to use hunker down. Okay. Uh, let me look and see what that is, because I do not remember. Uh, let's see. Hunker down. Making good use of surroundings for predictions. Ooh. So let's say... You're kind of like, because you're already on your back, shot in the gut, you just kind of sidle under the vehicle. So he basically doesn't even know you're there anymore. Because you're like under awesome. the vehicle. Um, okay. And you your don't body even have dead to ass disappeared. That. What'd you say? What'd you say? Like awesome. body dead ass just disappeared. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he's, he's as far as he's concerned, he's already dead anyway. He's not even, you know, this guy, this Kitsune is not concerned with him. He shot him in the gut. As far as he's concerned, as long as he kills the two of you, he's good. All right, so now it's his turn. He is, he missed, so he's going to fire again at Alex. And he is going to say, um, he's going to say, well, he's going to say nothing. You can tell that he's really, really angry, though. And, uh, but that's, you know, he's shooting you, so that's kind of obvious. He still misses. He misses again. All right, so now it's David's turn. You've been shot somewhere and that prevents you from... It'll make things difficult, but it's not going to kill you anytime soon. Like, it'll kill you if you don't get it treated, but, like, you have some time. Oh, I know I'm about to do something fucking batshit insane, but... Oh, boy. Do you got anything stacked? Hear me out on this. <laughs> One. I am going to unleash both me and right hook... Martial arts, fucking tombstone pile drive him to the ground and hopefully give him an open, give it an opening for someone, or maybe if he's unable to break free, then I can bust it out. All right. So roll daring and security against his daring and security. Oops, wrong character. Yeah, you, uh, let's, let me look at your unarmed strike. Instead of pounding him, <laughs> go ahead. Instead of pounding him into the ground, you ended up pounding him into the, say, uh, part of the, the car concrete. that actually, <laughs> no, part of the car that actually was sticking out and yeah. it stabs him right in the heart. You know what? I, I'm good. I'll be that. even more funny. I'm good with that. If you want to do that, I'm fine. That's, that's a good idea. I like that. Deal. All right, so you basically... Throw... He just hears boss music from behind. <laughs> he, <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, not boss music. That one music from Doom Eternal. 
I, I don't know. I, I don't know Doom. But uh, you definitely do that. And uh, you basically you throw a few punches to disorient him. And he just shoves his back against like a sticking out metal bar. And they, it goes through his heart. And comes out his, his chest. He drops the gun. And you can almost see like a sigh of relief in his face. As he fades away. You have killed the bad guy. So you're out of combat. And the police and the ambulances are approaching again. What do you guys want to do? Well, there's gonna, nothing. I'm, I'm going like, to immediately try oh. to help stabilize. A... Everybody's talking at once. Oh. Uh, I heard Sorry. Mac first. Mac, what do you want to do? Basically, there's nothing I can really do is because his head's still... Oh, then why did you say anything? Is it? Just don't say anything. All right. Uh, I heard Tali next. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to say, uh, uh, help me <laughs> get me out from underneath this fucking vehicle. <laughs> I'm shot. I have a bullet inside of my gut and I'm bleeding out for the love of everyone. Get me the fuck out of here. Alright, so I'm guessing David pulls him out from under the car. Yeah, the All fucking right. power of adrenaline is yeah. it hits different. Yeah. So you pull him out and uh are you gonna stay? It's as... like a try to... Yeah, I'm, I'm a It's over. God. Let me try and stabilize you. Well, the ambulance is showing up. If you don't run now, the police are going to get you. So you can leave. you got two choices. You can run and let the ambulance EMTs take care of him. Or you can stay there to try to stabilize him yourself and be there for him. And then the cops can arrest you. It's up to you. Baron is still... Baron is coming too, but he's not completely, you know, aware. Oh, wait. I didn't have a fake ID. Well, no, but you were shooting at people. They're still gonna arrest you. I, I, I wasn't even. Sh I wasn't the one shooting. I, like you meant. Like the thing is, I never mentioned anything about a gun. Okay. Well, they're gonna still question that's you. If you want to stay, that's your. That's completely up to you. But I need to know what y'all are doing. I always use the power of bullshit, my... like what I told when I was escaping from the hospital. I, I'm gonna stay with um, Conwell to. Are you there? Okay. Alright. Um, so both of you are staying? Is that what I'm hearing? I mean, yeah. I kind of do need help. Because, you know, yeah, you I'm the one who got shot. Both of you got shot, yeah. So, yeah, the EMTs are first going to look you over. Make sure, you know, they're going to get Cromwell into the ambulance. Take him to the hospital. There will be a cop there to question him. I'm assuming Cromwell's going to have some crazy, wonderful... Um, uh, award-winning acting that he's gonna tell him some some lie about how he was you know whatever what he can come up with it but uh, <laughs> yeah um, and then uh, however he was the one that that, that fired there eventually they're gonna find out that he fired a shotgun at, 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 at a truck um, at, and regardless of uh, uh, let me see because um, I'm pretty sure you, First of all, you, I, I'm 99% I'm sure you have to have a, a, a modern ID to get onto a base anyway. Um, and I don't think any of us would have that, but even so... Um, uh, uh, yeah. You, I, you forget the fact that I that at the start of the game, I recently got out. Oh, uh, that's true. You forget the neighbor reservists here. You are the reserves, yeah. And I pro I'm the one, I'm the one who and has I'm, the And I am the recently retired chief petty officer here. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, so my Baron is the one as as far as uh, as IDs go. He might be in trouble. But what about uh, Adam Cromwell? Does he have a, 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 a an actual legit military ID or is it fake? No, he would have an, a legit one because he's got like the martial arts and and other training. So he would probably be like a martial arts instructor or something like that. Okay, fair oh, enough. Wait, are you, wait, actually, you'll know be really funny. Hmm. What if you were secretly a fucking Navy SEAL? <laughs> yeah. Either way, uh, nope. I'm I, I'm fine with whatever you guys decide. Baron will be the only one that's held for questioning after being hospitalized for his concussion um, because of his, you know, uh, fake ID. Uh, as for um, the whole event with the truck and getting shot at and 
they're going to eventually find out that some of the dead people are Kitsunes. Um, you're, I'll say you guys over here that there were a couple werewolves as well in, in the trucks. Um, you, the only reason that you guys... Because they don't call them werewolves or, or Kitsunes. That they describe them differently when, they're, when the cops are talking to each other in the hospital. Like you can overhear that you're like, okay, well there's definitely two, at least two different kinds of bad guys that were chasing us and trying to kill us for some reason. Um... All... Only that they were working together. Mm, that's almost like that's happened before. Um, yeah. <laughs> but all in all, um, once Baron and Cromwell are recovered, I, I just want a, a yes or no answer. Do you stay for the for being detained and because I mean, we're going to be detained we're going to be questioned and interrogated we're going to be basically arrested for what we did or are you going to grab baron and cromwell and escape the 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 the, the, the um the base i'm assuming it's number two because if you don't then you're pretty much going to prison <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you may not technically have done anything wrong, but for the sake of just common sense, me and me and Cromwell definitely did something wrong. Even if you two didn't technically. Ooh, yeah. So, if you don't try to escape the base, you'll be held as you know we're brothers. So they're gonna they're gonna know that we're all in it together. So I'm assuming we're all gonna escape the base after we're recovered. Is that right? Definitely. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Yeah. So. I do have like a whole other act here, but it's more about um, other things, not necessarily the Katsune stuff. Um, but we can get into this next game. My big question, though, for you, David slash Nostra, do you actually want to become a Katsune? Because I'm completely fine with it if you if you want it to. We can do one more roll to see if we can heal you successfully, and then if we fail, you can become a Katsune. It's up to you. Let the dice gods decide. All right. Yes. Um, I mean, like, like, ima like, who knows, like, no, I'm not really, so, like, I mean, maybe upon that little, uh, car part impalement, the claw actually dug a little <laughs> bit deeper, Maybe. and we're not sure how deep. Alright, who's got the best medicine score, aka understand score? I have a three. I have a three. I've got a three. Alright. Cromwell. I think he has. I think he has a three as well. Um, Everyone's got a three yeah. on meds. I mean, that's. <laughs> we don't even have a fucking medic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not the worst though. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll roll medicine and insight, which is my highest one. Um, uh, and I'll roll two dice with a focus of. Um supernatural lore because i i'm assuming i would know how to heal so, somebody who was cut by a kasune uh and if i get two successes um then we'll ask the gm emulator if that's enough to heal you if i get one success it's not enough i have to at least get two if i get three successes you're completely healed okay got it got it that is I, so fair. I got two successes. Mac or whoever. Actually, Nastra, you should because it's yeah. your character. Nastra, if you want to pull up the GM emulator and say um, Chaos Level 7, I'm pretty sure it's fair. Uh, and, Definitely. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, does David become a Katsune? Uh, and what are the odds? What do you want the odds to be? 50-50, very likely, unlikely. It's up to you because... In the end, 50-50. 50-50, that's fair. Okay, and roll it and just say, tell tell us what it is. Yes. Just yes, okay. It wasn't extreme yes or anything, just yes? Yes, the normal yes. All right. Then uh, our next uh, session will be us uh, dealing with our brother becoming a kitsune and a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's the <so> awesome. <laughs> And all because the dice god said so. Yeah. Or... Hey, it's fine. <laughs> all right. Um, does anybody have any... Oh, uh, since we don't really do reputation for this game, 
because I don't really see a point in doing it for this game. Um, if you guys want to, just go ahead and grab a... Let's see. Grab a new a, talent. Grab a new talent. Let's see, what do I got? One, two, three, four. I think we're at five talents now, so grab a sixth talent. Uh, but it's got to be something that we would have learned either on this mission or the previous one with uh, Alex's mom. It's got to be something like that. It can't be something random out of the no out of nowhere that, you know, doesn't make any sense. Um, like, you know, I don't know, telepathy or something like that. Something that we wouldn't have been able to learn. It has to be something that would make sense for learning for because of this mission. Um, and that's pretty much it. Would yeah. uh, would uh what's it called uh like firing from a car be something uh i'm sure it could i could find something uh so i i if there if if you want a homebrew talent i can definitely make that it will probably take a while just because i'm busy but in the star trek talent section i'm pretty sure there is a security one that has something to do with shooting um, on, while you're on the move or something like that. But let me look. Um, I think it's got something to do with like shooting while you're flying a ship or something. But I'll, I'll have to look at that. Maybe. Sure. Uh, let's see. Hold on. L actually, l uh, I'm, I'm already looking at the security um, talents real at the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. there, isn't there one called like um, attack pattern or something like that? That Or that might be... No, that might be. There's no con. attack pattern in specific. Yeah. I think. Let me check con. That might be con. Attack run. A success in the attack pattern tasks lets a character spend two momentum. Enemy attacks against the character, character or character's uh, vehicle do do not reduce in difficulty due to the attack pattern. Yeah. So earlier. Uh, when you were shooting, I had difficulty increased to three because you were in a moving vehicle and it was dark out. So this talent would make it so that it doesn't increase the difficulty. Awesome. That's what I want. All right, I'll put that in your character sheet, and then you could just look at it and write it down wherever, um, whatever you had time. I'm on the fence of either I, actually, taking ret. Oh, sorry. And I, I, it's I'll not like I'm going to be back for a while, so it's it's going to yeah. be kind of. You know, but at least it'll be reoccurring character. I be honest and admit I'm on the fence of either asking you for a homebrew talent or I don't know, like how would resolute fit into this? Uh, I mean, what what does that do again? That gives you what three extra? Being indomitable, unwilling to succumb to adversity, max increase my maximum stress by three. Yeah, so you start. I think you have eight, right? Normally, yes. So that would yes. just uh, yeah. put you up to 11. Pretty useful. That's what that. I have as well. You do? That's yeah. Awesome. Explains why you didn't instantly die. Well, you have. I see you have yeah. eight, 8, though. So you should definitely... I need to put it up to 11. To yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. And... Yeah. All right. I, I, it's just I'm kind of on the fence about it, you know? Yeah. 